The heartbeat bill has OBGYNs across the state bracing for major changes in how they care for patients who want abortions. Today, Haley Mason is talking to physicians who are staunchly against the plans, and she's hearing from those who think it is the right thing to do. Haley? Sharon, the doctors I talked to today tell me that science and medicine are not always black and white, and I'll tell you, their opinions on this heartbeat bill couldn't be more different. Whether they like them or not, doctors in Georgia say the heartbeat bill could bring monumental changes to abortion practices. It's very concerning for our patients. It's very concerning for the women of Georgia. Dr. Carrie Swiak is an OBGYN and epidemiology professor at Emory University. Most women do not know that they're pregnant by six weeks. And so um, this is essentially an abortion ban because there are going to be very few women who will be able to access care. Uh, before six weeks of pregnancy. Dr. Andy Toledo specializes in fertility. His clients are trying to become pregnant and know pretty quickly when they are, but still he says the bill could put a major time limit on couples if something is wrong. It sometimes takes a little bit of time for couples to make an informed decision. While many medical groups oppose the bill, the Catholic Medical Association does not. Kathleen Raviel is a member. This is going to allow physicians, OBGYNs, to be supportive of women in their pregnancies, to encourage them to have the baby. OBGYNs have two patients. They have the mother and they have the baby. Uh, they will be able to emphasize both patients with this heartbeat bill. She says women are usually aware that they're pregnant sooner than six weeks. Most women would know they were pregnant by four, four and a half weeks after the first day of their last period. But Swiak argues the move could further cut access to women who cannot travel to get it. And if the, the heartbeat bill passes, then they will not have the option to stay in the state uh, in order to receive care if they need to terminate an abnormal pregnancy. Swiak went on to tell me that she believes women would try to travel to Florida uh, to try to seek medical care if they need to terminate a pregnancy. Nonetheless, this bill does have Governor Kemp's support. Reporting live outside of the Capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.